Hello Stampers! My name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Denver, Colorado. And today I have a video for you that is one more card example from the Boho Indigo um, card kit. And I promise this is the last one for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I've had so much fun playing with it. Um, and this one I'm using some of the other elements. And so let's just get started. Okay, here is my card. And it's actually a very simple card and quite fast. Um, and so let's just see what the pieces are here. I have a... Um, very vanilla base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. Two pieces of misty moonlight that are four by five and a quarter, one for the inside, one for the outside, and two pieces of very vanilla that are three and three quarters by five. Now, I've used some of the other elements on this card, which are some of the laser cut pieces and a little bit of designer series paper. Uh, we're going to start by doing a little bit of stamping on one of our three and three quarters by five pieces here. And we are going to stamp a bunch of birthday, let me get it here. It says, a bunch of birthday love to you. And we're going to be using the Misty Moonlight ink. And so I'm going to ink up my stamp and get my bunch of birthday love to you set right up here on this side of my card. And there we go. There we've got it. And then I'm going to use my Garden Green, which uh, is the green that's associated with the elements in this kit. And I have some of my leaves and I have a bit of uh, scratch paper that I'm going to stamp off with on this. So here's my scratch paper and I'm inking up my leaves in the garden green and then I'm going to ink off or stamp off once and I'm going to put some of these leaves right down here at the bottom and I'm going to do that a couple more times here. Once here and then once going the other way right over here. And there we've got those leaves stamped there. Then I have this piece of designer series paper that is cut five inches by three quarters of an inch. Okay, so I'm going to add some snail to the back of my designer series paper. And Bring that down like this. Then I'm going to set this piece down right here so that it goes right from the bottom to right to the top of this piece of very vanilla. And there we go. Then I have this gold ribbon that is from the uh, forever fern sweet and I'm going to put some glue on that and lay that down right next to that piece so I'm going to cut a piece of this of the gold and I'm going to use my dot runner for this piece and we're going to lay this piece down right next to the blue maybe overlapping just a touch so that I don't crowd my sentiment. All right, and then I'm going to anchor that down on the back side of this. Now then, I have a little bit of stamping to do on the inside. On the inside of this card, 
I put down a, um, a smaller piece, a half inch piece, some more of this ribbon. I'm going to ink that up and stamp off just like I did on the front. And I'm going to put a couple of stamps worth of these leaves down here. Maybe like that. And then I'm going to, I think I'm done with my ink. So I can put that away before I put my whole hand in it. And I'm going to add some snail to the back of my designer series paper, which I cut at five inches by one half an inch. And I'm going to set that down and let that run right up the page, going all the way to the top. Then we're going to take another piece of this ribbon and I'm going to cut a piece of that on off and use some, my dot runner again to put some snail on the back of that ribbon. And I'm going to center this ribbon right on the middle of that designer series piece. And then I'm going to capture that around the back side of my card panel. Now then, this panel is ready to be mounted on the Misty Moonlight. And let's see, I wanna use my, I really do like this seal product. I'm, I'm very taken with it. I think it does a really good job. In fact, I think it does a better job than the old, um, uh, snail. So let's see if I put this on here. And center that. Then this piece will be ready to go on the inside of my card. All right, so here is my card base, and we're going to put this down on the inside of my card, right down here, with a nice margin all the way around. Great. Okay, now we're going to take this piece that I've started that's got most of what we want on there, but I think I will attach it to my layering piece now before I add any more dimension. So I'm going to add some seal to the back of this and mount that right on my misty moonlight. I love this blue just so pretty and the gold and blue together is really really nice all right now this piece is ready to go on my card front and we'll put that right on here and on this one um, we just need a few dimensionals to add to the back of these die cut elements. So uh, what I've done is put dimensionals mostly just on the center of these flowers so I'll be able to tuck the leaves in around them. And I started with this rather large flower right here to the side. And then, if I remember right, I needed to cut off a couple of these tails. on, um, And I'm going to stick this leaf 
right up here. And this one, I'm going to cut off the tail. And I'm going to set that one down right under here, right to the bottom of the card. And then to cover up my stem here, I have my other little flower that I'm going to set right down here just like that. And isn't that pretty? I think it's just got the nicest look to it. It looks like it could use one more little mini dimensional underneath this petal. There we go. That feels a little bit more secure to me. All right. So um, on this card, that pretty well puts the card together. I told you it was fast. And using these elements made it really easy to put this card together. And I decided on this one to use these glittered enamel uh, gems instead of the gilded uh, gems. These are hard um, and raised, and these would be better for mailing because they are um, flatter and still give us that pretty gold element here. And so what I'm going to do is set a few of these around um, the card just like I did in a cluster around the bunch of flowers. And there we go. There we've got our centers. And I suppose I could take one of these and put it in the center of this flower. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> okay, there we go. So that is my project for the day. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. I do so appreciate it. Um, and if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. And or you could join my team. Joining uh, Stampin' Up! is always a good deal. $125 worth of product for $99. And you start out with a 20% discount. So there is my card. Uh, my prize for this month is the Birds and Branches Bundle. And uh, all you have to do to get yourself in my drawing is to place an order on my store, albedinger.stampinup.net, or you can get to it through my blog, www.inkandingenuity.com. So that's it for me. Let's see, this month is July, so there's still bonus days. For every $50 you spend in July, you're going to get a $5 coupon to redeem in August. And August is when the new Fall and Christmas catalog comes out a little bit early this year. But that just means we're going to have all the way from August through clear through December to, um, to, to have that catalog available to us. And um, so I think that's it. So thanks again for stopping by, and I'll be back soon with more cards, more projects, and more tips. Bye!